This example is similar to our previous example, except that I don't have my full year data yet. So I'm doing my reporting. I just did actual August reporting, and I'm comparing it to my budget. And what I want to happen is that when I come to do my September reporting, and I add my data to September, I would like my actual series label to move with. The trick to do this automatically for you is going to be a trick that you can use for many other purposes, and I'm sure you're going to need it in some of your reports. I'm going to remove this chart. I'm going to remove this data. I'm going to explain how we're going to get this. Budget is easy. The position of our budget label is going to be our December month. The value we have for December is where we want it to be. We can add a correction factor to this if we see that the positioning is not perfect. For actual, I could do this like this, and every time I have new data, delete this, and then say gain equals October, and so on. But obviously, I don't want to do it manually. So before we see what formula we can use here, I'm just going to go ahead and insert my line series. I'm going to do it all at once. I'm going to quickly change the formatting of my actual. Now I have two other series added, the actual budget. I can't see them because they're just one point. So what I'm going to do is select from here. I'll start with budget, it's the easier one. I go to layout data labels, and I'll put that to the right. Click on it, format, show the series name instead of the value. For actual, I said that I want a formula that's always going to give me the number for the last filled month. Which formula could I use? Let's think. I will need an if, because I need to check. What could I check? I could check if this number here has a value in it, is filled as a number, and the cell right after it has no number. If both of these conditions are met, then it should give me the number that's sitting in the cell. So how can we write that? I need the if, and then I need the and function. I need to say and, this shouldn't equal to nothing. It should be filled. What's my other condition? That the cell after me should actually equal nothing. That's the condition that I need to be met. Then, what should it do if it's true? It should give me the cell. Otherwise, let's say give me nothing. Let's see if that works. Looks good. This column looks good. The problem is I have a line here now. I could format data series. Don't use a line. Now I can go in and do what we did for budget. And I have my actual series selected. Go to data labels and say, put it on the right side. Right mouse click, format data series, show the series name. See what happened? It's showing the data labels also for zero values. And why does Excel do that? It's because I'm using a formula. So even if I say, give me nothing in the formula, Nothing for Excel is a zero. And that's why it assumes these are all zero. It creates a line chart, and it will give me the data labels for my zero values as well. And see what happens if I delete these formulas. They disappear. But obviously, that's not what I want to do. So nothing doesn't work, and zero is not going to work either. What works is to say, instead of add nothing, 
do an A. An A means give me an error, an error in the cell. Charts can't handle errors. An A is an error, it doesn't know what to do, it doesn't give you a zero, it just doesn't know what to do, so it cuts your series off. So if I copy this down, it goes away. I have no line chart here. I just have this one point because it doesn't know what to do here. And this is a great trick to use when you also don't want to show your full year or you don't have the data for your full year and you're using a formula in your cells. What you would get is that you get a complete crash here for your actuals going all the way down to zero. And if you want to avoid that, instead of saying then give me nothing, say give me an error. That's the trick you can use. Obviously, you, can, you will get rid of this, and we can reduce the size of our plot area to get the positioning done better. So if we add now the data for the next month, let's say I have 2,000, it moves up. Everything works like a charm.